Hey guys, Toast here. Welcome to Custom Kit. This is a series where you get to select every facet of a custom kit, including primary weapon, secondary, grenades, gadgets, and melee, and I'll discuss the different components, my preconceptions prior to using the kit, and then my experiences after having used it. Today's custom kit is courtesy of Yeo Bak Yoon, my apologies for the likely horrible pronunciation of that, who submitted the I Hate Sniping Kit. Now quickly to preface this, I don't actually hate sniping. Yeo wrote, I hate sniping. Main weapon, M1903 Experimental. Sidearm, Mars Automatic. Gadget 1, Flare Gun. Gadget 2, K-Bullets. Melee, Hatchet. Grenade, Frag, or Gas. Do you hate sniping but want to rank up your scout class? Well, you've really only got one option, the M1903 Experimental. With decent accuracy and a high rate of fire, even though you have low damage, you can take out enemies quite quickly, and the Mars Automatic lets you have a little more punch when you need it. If you really need to take out someone from afar, the K-Bullets let you take advantage of the original M1903's damage model, and I really don't have to explain about the flare gun and its usefulness. This loadout is really for someone who's looking for something new, or just hates sniping so much that they have to resort to this. When I first saw this comment, my initial thoughts were, yeah, okay, I don't hate myself that much yet. But then I got to thinking about it and thought it might actually be a fun challenge to take on because I rarely use that weapon due to my overall dislike for it. Let's first discuss each of the different components of the kit and how each one influenced my tactics going into this, beginning with the M1903 Experimental. For those of you unfamiliar with this variant, it's like a cross between a light machine gun, self-loading rifle, and SMG, where it has the large magazine of a light machine gun, but the semi-auto fire of a self-loading rifle and the low muzzle velocity of a submachine gun. I'll admit right from the get-go that I was dreading using this weapon. It wasn't so much that I didn't want to have to change my playstyle, I already play Scout rather aggressively, it was more the fact that the weapon plays more similar to the medic self-loading rifles in terms of fire mechanic, but it doesn't have the same power that those weapons have. With a maximum damage of only 23 and a minimum damage of a measly 13.5, that means that the weapon was going to be a 5-shot body shot kill at close range, up to an 8-shot body shot kill at range, assuming I didn't hit any extremities. The redeeming features of this weapon, though, were the rate of fire of 449 rounds per minute, which realistically meant that I could fire as fast as I could pull the trigger, and the large magazine size of 41 rounds meant that I could spam like crazy and still have some rounds left to take advantage of the short reload versus the long reload. I already knew from my previous uses that the iron sights were less than ideal with a small circle to look through and a single prong to line the targets up with, so I had anticipated using hip fire fairly frequently, especially given that I was going to try to put myself in close to mid-range situations where I could best make use of the 23 maximum damage and not have to worry about hitting 8 shots before the enemy simply got annoyed and turned around and killed me. The saving grace to me of this loadout was the Mars Automatic. This is my preferred sidearm in close range situations as it deals a hefty 40 damage up close and a still respectable 23 damage at range with 11 rounds at my disposal. It's my go-to sidearm for the scout class so I was happy to be bringing it along and anticipated using it a lot. Moving on to gadgets, the flare gun is easily one of the most useful gadgets in the game, both to you and your team, so I was happy to make good use of that. I also anticipated it would help me better close the gap on my enemies without being caught at longer ranges, so that I had a better chance of either securing a kill head-on, or being able to flank around to take advantage of the element of surprise. I use flares very liberally, so I anticipated needing to find some decent supports who would drop ammo frequently. As for K-Bullets, they're useful for helping take out vehicles, or at the very least, stopping vehicles from backing out and repairing without contest. I knew that they could also be used to make the M1903 Experimental similar to the other bolt-action rifles in terms of damage model and fire, which I plan to swap to when needed when encountering long-range targets. As the custom kit's name suggested, if you hated sniping in the traditional sense, this was going to be the kit for you to use. Now, that's what I was anticipating based on the components of the kit, but how did it actually end up playing out? The best way that I can describe my experience with this kit is to say that I felt nothing less than bipolar while using it. Every game consisted of moments of elation for being able to get a couple kills without dying, mixed with emotions of utter frustration from dying in fights where I knew that I would come out victorious with virtually any other weapon. The M1903 Experimental was easily one of the most frustrating primary weapons to use, mostly because of its seemingly inconsistent nature in most situations. There were times where it felt like I was able to take down enemies in only 5 shots, and there were other times where enemies were still in close proximity, but it felt like I had to hit them more like 10 times before they would go down. Because of this, successfully flanking became more of a necessity just to win gunfights. Despite the fact that it was frustrating to use, I did find some success with this weapon. 
albeit in between bouts of cursing its existence and myself for thinking that this custom kit was somehow a good idea. Kills were definitely satisfying because I really felt like I earned them and outplayed my opponents. To my surprise, I very rarely swapped to the Mars Automatic Secondary except for when I was in extreme close range situations like the interior of buildings where I knew that I was likely to encounter multiple enemies head on. The flares, as anticipated, were extremely effective. I love this gadget in general because it provides amazing intel and, for this particular custom kit, gave me enough info to be able to approach my enemies on my terms so that I'd at least give myself the most beneficial positioning possible. The biggest curveball that was thrown at me, which I hadn't anticipated because I had never used the two at the same time, was the combination of K-Bullets with the M1903 Experimental. With most scout weapons, you merely eject out the current round, put in a K-Bullet, and you're good to go. With the M1903 Experimental, in order to use the K-Bullets, you have to essentially remove the entire magazine feeding mechanism from the weapon and replace it, which forces you to go through a 3-4 to four second animation when you want to swap to and from K-Bullets. There were numerous times where I found myself in a position to take some shots in an enemy vehicle, but had to back off to safety to go through the whole animation, only to find that by the time I had finished the animation, that the enemy vehicle was behind cover, which meant I had to go back through the animation again to swap back to regular rounds. Frustrating does not even begin to describe this mechanic, so I cannot recommend enough that should you wish to try out this kit or something similar, Either do not use the K-Bullets, or ensure that you're never in a situation where you need to access them in any reasonable amount of time. Overall though, despite forcing me to contemplate my own sanity at times, this kit wasn't quite as awful to use as I had initially anticipated, and when the weapon felt like it killed in only 5 bullets, it was actually bordering on fun. If you feel like putting yourself at a disadvantage while playing Battlefield, give this kit a try. It'll certainly challenge you. Thank you again for submitting this custom kit, and if you'd like to see one of your own custom kits featured on a future episode of the series, please leave a comment below with the details of the kit, and I'll select one for the next episode. If you've submitted one on a previous video that did not get picked, please know that they're still in the running, but always feel free to either resuggest or suggest a different one as well. If you see a kit in the comments that you think is interesting, please leave a thumbs up on it. As always, if you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.